It's Joe Guan Yu here, first ever Chinese Formula 1 driver racing for Alfa Romeo F1 Team Holland. I'm coming from Shanghai, China. Best thing about that, all the tall buildings. You don't have any much of nature. I think it feels very honored to be an F1 driver, first ever of the country, and finally achieved that. And for myself, I know how hard it is to completely the ladder of motorsports. The dream is always be a Formula One driver as a Chinese driver. And it's going to be tough, but I'm just trying to improve as a person and as a driver. You 去证明自己要去正视这些所说的一些谣言啊，或者什么是完全是不对的，然后去把这种用成绩的方式去回馈他们，或者是我自己一直想做的，然后也很庆幸在两站结束以后已经把这件事情给完成了。那么接下来还需
new procedures I have to learn as a driver. So it's me as a rookie, I have to find a way, you know, try to be up to speed. And I spend uh, so much time back in the factory, like putting a lot of effort and a lot of work together with all the engineers, all the crew. I think that's very important, especially for me, with everything pretty much new. The whole team is very motivated and ready to be, you know, having stronger season, more points finish, better results compared to the last year. And points on his debut, Joe Guan Yu comes home in 10th place. First time I'm quiet on the radio, but yeah, I'm very happy. Finally achieve that dream because dreams normally is a difficult one to come to. Joe, what a debut, a point on your debut. What can you say? Well, it's, uh, it's amazing. I'm so speechless, you know. It was so emotional race, so intense, not physically, men mentally. And uh, yeah, to be scoring my first ever Formula One points, you know, in my debut is something I would only dream of one year ago or two weeks ago. Everything comes so quickly. I'm just so happy, so proud of the team behind me, proud of my teammate. We worked so hard together to maximize the car. And then, yeah, huge reward for us. And uh, it's uh, a day that I never will forget for my whole time. The performance of the car looked really strong, but you yourself pulled off a string of overtakes. Yeah, was that, I don't know if was the overtake was on TV or not. Fair few of them were, yeah. So cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I was, once I had a problem in turn one, went to anti-stall in turn one, so I have to go to neutral, restart everything, and then it was a bit of a strange stuff, and then I knew my chance was very low to get to the point, so I was like fully attacked, tried to only eyes forward, and then even I think when Lewis came out with hard, I, I took him because even though I knew he was much quicker, but every opportunity I couldn't miss, you know, I want to gain that uh, gap I lost. So, yeah, I was, I don't know how that confidence come, but I think it's the, the eager of that I want to finish in the points. So it really means so much that all this happens, you know, once I announced to be F1 and then to now, a lot of talks, a lot of stuff. And I always say that I deserve to be here. And today I think I showed everything and it's, it's great relief.